Okay, this is where we are at. At an old Chevy truck axle. It's got a set of springs on it. And they look kind of long. I didn't actually measure them, I just dragged it over here. I picked up a stick of steel. And that stuff is pretty expensive now. And now I got to uh, kind of figure out what a feller's doing here. Where do I start and where do I go? Seeing how that's kind of rotten way the heck down there, I'm kind of thinking I want to start down there. Somehow graft it into the frame, come up with this profile, and across. I think a lot of it is going to depend on if I can use those springs or not. Uh, yeah. I can't say I know what I'm doing because I've never done one of these before, but it's a perfect car to practice on, right? <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to first start off by cutting one of these springs off. I'm not going to use these U-bolts because I'm just going to be making all my own junk. Or I have some other stuff I can use, but I'm going to cut a spring off, kind of loosely sit it on there, see if this is even in the ballpark of what I'm going for, and uh, I'll go from there. I guess worst case, I could get them re-arced or something, but this thing, I don't really want to spend zero dollars on it, so I've already spent, uh, what is this, like 110 bucks for, is it 13 feet or something like that of two by three? That's a lot of money. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, start cutting stuff up. pretty much just a blind fail <laughs> that spring is just way too big I mean if you're into that that'd be okay but I guess I'm gonna actually have to measure something and uh, see what to go with by the looks of it it's probably gonna be a trailer spring or something I need something pretty small uh, here we go tape measure what are those things Usually 25 inches, somewhere in that range. Yep, that is looking like what I gotta go with. Okie dokie. I guess hindsight, if I would have looked at, mind you, that's not very thick. Uh, not rods or whatever that website, whatever that YouTube channel is. Them guys did a studio. They used the original rails, but they got rid of the cups and pinched it in. Probably would have been a lot less work for me, but yeah, whatever. If I build the front part right, if I ever redo the chassis, at least the front's done. And uh, I can just rebuild the chassis going back. Huh. Yeah, I like making work for myself. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so I got to source out some trailer springs. That is what I got to do. That might hold this off till the weekend because I think Friday we're going to go into the city and I can grab some springs fairly cheap out there. So, uh, I can still do my rails. I think the kid might have a spring I can use just as a mock-up. At least I think he has some broken springs somewhere that I can kind of use. But anyways... I guess we'll keep cleaning junk up and uh, keep working away at it here. Alrighty, well, next day I've uh, kind of made a Princess Auto run. I've bought some trailer springs, some perches, and like a, a shackle kit thing of a bobber. It's kind of for a trailer, but it'll work okay for this application. Looks like the 25 inch spring was the right way to go. Um, just not sure how about I want to go with everything yet. Uh, I do want it like super nosebleed, so. <laughs> I 
I'd like it this way because I would like headers to be coming out of here. If the option. I've toyed with different ideas too. I pretty much just want to build this car out of garbage that I've had lying around my yard. So I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> so I didn't film it, but I just cut the steering column from the box. So I zinged that. So now I'm going to unbolt the steering box. I'm going to cut a bunch of junk out of the way here to uh, free me up some space. So I can cut this thing up. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. I'm thinking because it's rotten there, I'm going to come back behind this mount. I might have to find some way to fasten it up anyways. Because I'll have this spring set up on here. But I want to keep it kind of centered, so I'm a little mixed on this. Whether the... Um, I'll have to scaffold it down a bit or something. I don't know yet. Anyways. I'm going to get that steering box off and then I think I got to come back somewhere in this angle because I'm going to tuck the rail into this frame so and then burn it up as much as I can hopefully make it strong I don't know I'm kind of winging this I don't know what I'm doing so and I'm just doodling it in my for my backyard uh, pleasures right now so I guess I'm going to lift her up Assess the situation and uh, just start hacking stuff. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that uh, I was going to try to ignore this, <laughs> but I can't. So I pretty much have to start here. I'll probably work my kick up, come across figure out how to do my suspension after. Um, but I figured that this cross member was probably what was holding the car together, so off it goes. And if I do this right, if you do it right to save your misery, you just tighten things till it breaks. Dang it. Don't you hate it when things actually want to come apart? Well, this simple little project escalated quickly. <laughs> Dang near, I have to almost build a frame for it. Holy. So we got crunchiness back to here. It starts getting some rigidity back there. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go past this mount. I'm going to carve up, carve to the top. I'm going to pocket into this chest, into here, clean this bottom up. That way I can burn this side up, burn the top into it, and uh, yeah, that should make it not too bad. It'll essentially have a nice sub uh, front subframe that I can work with, and then, uh, man, that's rough. Shapers. I don't know where far back to go. <laughs> There's like no end to it. There's a brace in the back, but I got to come at an angle, so... I gotta come in and then narrow it in. So we'll go with this. We got a game plan, we're gonna try that. Cause that side's way worse than this side. This side I could probably come in differently, but do we keep it the same? Probably. 
just to make our life easier. I think so. So, we have our rails, they're aggressively tacked in. <laughs> uh, we still have to make some supports up here. I'm actually trying to keep the frame pretty low, just to keep my jack stance in the front. So, like, normally this is here. I'm going to build, like, some spacers just to hold the clip. Uh, yeah, I guess now I'm going to drop it down 
Yeah, I got a little bit of time. A little late, but I'm going to drop it down. I'm just going to lightly mock up where the springs are going to go. See how I like it or not. And uh, grab my box of parts here and see what we can do. I guess this is as far as I'm getting tonight. It's sort of like a roller now. The springs are not set up right at all. Uh, it needs some weird, because they're trailer set up, I don't dig it, so I'm gonna build some. The front mounts are okay. The backs, I'm gonna build a bushing or something in there. It's kind of a weird setup. Uh, like I'm just gonna do a bolt, whatever. I'm gonna make a bushing anyway. <laughs> Uh, but you can see the angle of the springs are like complete junk. So I'm either going to bring this perch down or I'm going to put a smaller shackle on that one or maybe I'll even, yeah, I don't know. I haven't fully thought it through. All I know is right now she's actually sitting on the axle. So that's all right. That's kind of a win for tonight. Uh, so basically we got our rails in. So we're, uh, we've got lots of welding and some gusseting to do. No big deal. Uh, even the front here, because I got that spun tank, I'm going to uh, probably build a tube and then I can kind of hold that tank off into the front. You know, the old, basically the old fuel tank. Stick her out in the front, right? Like they're supposed to be. Well, I guess this is where I'm going to leave her tonight. I'm going to monkey around with it tomorrow. Yeah, the axle's just totally folded down. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, no biggie. We'll figure stuff out yet. No idea how well this will handle, but I guess we'll find out in a dirt day. Eh? That's pretty much where we're going to see how she goes. Anyways, let's... Uh, Gonna call her a night and uh, start all over again tomorrow night. Well, I got back. Not too late, but definitely not feeling it. I think I got too much sun today. So I still gotta fully weld all this together, bolt the body down to its new mount. I haven't done that yet. And I still gotta do like a bunch of gusseting inside there. And I still want to do a bunch of triangulated gussets everywhere. This setup is not the final setup. I quickly just put in a quick perch up there because the spring was sitting really weird looking. Looks okay now. Uh, I think before I call her a night, I'm going to just see what I have for a steering box that I can use. I think I have like a Toyota one or something weird that I can mount up in the front and then I can do a cross steer with it. With that said, then I can maybe order some parts and some himes and stuff so I can actually build the steering portion of this. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go dig around my shed, see what I find. Well, I did find this box. It's kind of oddball. This one's perfect for this car. It's from like a Volvo. 
<laughs> I don't ever remember owning a Volvo. But regardless, I got a steering box. Should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna set it up with a cross steer over to this side. Uh, if we do it with the Heim. So, should be pretty straightforward. Just gotta get rid of this funky junk. I guess technically, let me see. Maybe I could actually use this junk. Hmm. Maybe. It's not perfect, but it would work for what I'm using this for. Might be fine. Hmm. Interesting. So we set that up there and get that steering way up into the front. That's not bad. I don't know. Just gotta get a different arm for this thing. Or do this with a heim to it. That might work. Cool. Alright. Well, I guess that's all I'm doing on it tonight, which is really, I did nothing. <laughs> I'm just being lazy. I've been out in the sun too much today. Losing my mojo. Any of you. Till tomorrow. So it's been a few days. Uh, haven't really done anything with the front, but I should get at least an axle under the rear so I can kind of make this semi like a drive, well, <laughs> not a driver, a roller, even though that's like super scabbed in. We have to work on that a little more. Uh, but I want to put a dip under the back. I'm just going to use the one I pulled out of the Buick. We can just later just weld it up as a straight spool. That'll be fine. So, I guess let's get started with that. were some small RS U bolts. These are like trailer bolts if that this motor could not have made much power at all originally. <laughs> Anyways we got this diff out. Uh, it's gonna be like a junkity junk. I don't even bother saving the drive shaft because it is like so small that there's no no practical use for it. I'll keep some of the tubing for something but so anyways this is the diff I want to put in. I'm just gonna torch off all this stuff. I don't need any of it and uh, we're gonna stab that thing into there I'm sure it's narrow enough I could put the perches over somewhere but eh, we'll uh, we'll get rid of all the garbage anyways so I'll pull this out blast it off quick get it mocked up I think I'm gonna make some blocks only because I want to do the full Monty to get the back end lower so I'll probably make some two or three inch blocks for it and uh yeah get her bolted in see what it looks like
cool. Diff is in. Wow. <laughs> That's a loose term. Anyways, all I have, I snooped around. These are the only U bolts I got, which is good though, because it looks like I got just enough to run a three inch block or whatever. It's going to be a three inch drop on it. So, uh, basically, what I'm going to do is check what I have for two by four. I'm going to cut out a notch so I can burn the pad onto the diff and then we can bolt it down. So we're going to double a lowering block and uh, um, a spring perch all at the same time. So I just have to, I think I have some scrap pieces of two by four yet and uh, I can make a mount from there. If I don't, then I'll build it out of some three inch block and put an actual pad on it. <clears throat> I'm gonna dig around and see what I can find here. I have these on. I'm actually not really happy with this setup. Like I could cap this tube, but I'm afraid it would probably squish or do something. I have like on my other cars, I've used like quarter inch and I've added some gussets inside. You could do that, uh, but I might just do a two inch block with a pad. That'll give me my three inches and uh, do that. But for now, this is fine. I'll leave it as is. Um, just so I can make the car a bit of a roller. I'm not sure how much craziness I want to keep going on it or just take a little bit of a break on it because it was, it was only supposed to be a one day project or two day project maybe a weekend and it's kind of daddled into like day three here so kind of want to get do some more work on that one and with the nice weather I've been driving that one and kind of doing some outdoor stuff so anyways I'm uh I have a buddy that has some dirt Hoosiers, so I kind of wouldn't mind seeing those. See how they fit up, get a rough idea how much of this fender I'm carving out. Uh, anyways, for now, it's kind of semi-mounted. At least I can roll it around because the other diff was like stuck as a duck there. <laughs> if that's a saying, I don't know, I don't think so. But she was stuck and uh, it wouldn't turn, so at least now I can turn it. Holy dino, look at this thing, eh? I wonder what this thing was dragged around on. It was dragged for a long time. Because you had those and those spring perches, everything was just hammered, eh? Like it spent most of its life getting dragged around. Okay, anyways. Let's find some wheels and see if we can, uh, well, I guess make it a roller, technically.
Well, nothing a little uh, duct tape can't fix on the steering, eh? <laughs> um, I have everything together just mocked up as garbage. It's uh, my U bolts are wrong, my plates are wrong. Uh, I just bolted it together so I can at least roll the car around for right now. Uh, nothing centered or squared, but it is bolted, held on by its own weight. Uh, everything's got to get welded and gusseted yet. Like here, I'm going to build some triangle gussets in here to hold all of this. Because that's just dumb. That needs to be a lot of bracing in there. Same thing back here. I need to do a bunch of stuff there. Um... Uh, what are we going to do? Like the steering box will mount, so it'll look like it'll work with this front stuff. That's cool. I ran out back, grabbed some wheels. I'll probably be running the bigger wheels. So, I'm going to... Ah, boo. That one's definitely not holding air. Lame. So for now, I'm going to mock it up with this wheel. <laughs> I don't know if it'll hold there either, but... So anyways, my plan is to roughly... I'm going to be running a much bigger wheel, so I'm just going to do a small cut right now to get that one to fit. I'm going to set the car down on uh, jack stand, see where the axle goes. And uh, yeah, from there, I'll just do what I need for now. I'm not going to go aggressive with the wheel arch for any real travel. I kind of mixed how the wheel is. I might actually move it ahead some more. Or I might center it. I actually moved it back an inch instantly because that's usually what all the old cars do and this one seems to be right. So eh, we'll do a small little so I can fit my tire and uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, I'm going to put it on some jack stands first and uh, then line up this tire, mark it, cut it, and I can bolt the wheel on. That is definitely going in the right direction. Do have to radius this more, but if you can look, it's pretty dead nuts even in there, but I'm gonna wanna scoot it ahead. So I think the, the pin on the diff has gotta be exactly where, it, where did I do? I went back. So I gotta move it ahead back to the stock location. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Most of the old cars, they always set the diff so far forward that you usually go almost two inches back to sort of center the wheel. So I just blindly did that, which is fine because then I can correct this wheel arch again. And uh, plus I'm going to have a much wider tire probably on it. So that's awesome. This is pretty much the stance I was going for. Maybe a little more aggressive, but I dig it the way it is. But... I think I'm going to take a little break because I went a little longer on this one than I wanted. Uh, at least I can push it out and steer it out now. It rolls. It rolls. Not so great, but it was mostly because I should have cut all the drive shaft stuff off and it was getting hung up on stuff. Anyways, I'm going to throw this thing outside for now. Take a little break because this took a little bit longer than I thought. And then I can get back to uh, working on that thing. But anyways, as always guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.